rapid retract fillets. This is a <laughs> this is one that I kind of laugh about because this is all about me right here when I look at this. When I when I cut parts and people that know me, I usually cut parts like this. I go ahead and back plot this. I don't like I don't like to wrap it high. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me back plot this. So I'm gonna cut into a part. Let me speed this up here a little bit. And I've got some real low feed rates. You know, I don't believe in Freddy Cat machining and getting way up above the part to move to the next move. And this is fine, but there are times when if you're cutting something, and let me go ahead and show you this. Let me make sure that I have the right stock model open. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got my fixture. And when I take this to simulation, the regular back plot won't show you a dog leg. But if I go to back plot right here, oops, let me turn my workpiece back on. There we go. Now here, if I back plot it, it'll show you the dog leg. Now we had another sample. Uh, I'll show you this right now. See, there's the dog leg. We did have another sample where the dog legs went the other way and it crashed into the part, but I just can't see myself, this wall right here, I just can't see myself crashing into the part in front of everybody. So I figured this would be an easier way to show you the dog leg, All right? So how do we avoid this? We got some real cool features now for 2021. And let's go look at some of these Let's go look at some of these operations here. So already these, these new features. So here, oops, now before I back plot this, come over here, let's go to my Lincoln parameters right here. And the first thing we'll see is output feed rate move. Now in the past, we've done this in post processors. We just kind of eliminate rapid moves, but now it's just a switch off and on. So you can take it, you know, be between, uh, and it don't have to necessarily those integers or nothing. It's just within the interface. And if I take this back to verify now, and back plot it and we'll see that now we you know we can do these moves down below the part but they're linear so there's no dog legs you know we can put a real fast feed rate right there you know and you just get a good looking part without having to worry or you know reaching out now for those guys that just insist on wanting to come out of the park you know the Freddy cats in the room here We've added this arc filter, maximum radius. So I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and come out of the part this time, except we're gonna, we are adding a cool little feature here on the retract. So I'm gonna go ahead and just back plot this. So we've got these little arc moves that come up. These are rapid moves, okay? And this radius motion helps sudden abrupt changes in rapid when you're cutting parts, you know? And if you have a machine that just doesn't stop real quick or whatever. It's a, it's a real good way of doing this. 